I don't know why my voice came out so high pitched. I was going to bring it back down, so I just rolled with it. Sure. Oh, was I, was, I was forced. <laughs> like, <laughs> If you had cut to me two seconds earlier, Hello. I was blanked out, and I had no idea what my do you know should do. Right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> like, holy All right. Ready, boys? Let's get right into it. Yahoo. Yahoo. Yep. You. I didn't know you could do a Mario so well. <laughs> that was pretty good. Nicholas, what? spit that talk time topic at my face and Mike's face and Kevin's Now you head. can spit it since we have our own mics now. <laughs> our own <laughs> All of our mics, mics are labeled. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, you can't really see it, but it says Nick. Uh, so, we don't get, so we don't get Rose's <laughs> crust all over Man the juices. <laughs> Rosy crust. No. <laughs> Call out to Jackbox. Nick, go ahead. <laughs> take what me away. Mean? Today, guys, I'd like to talk about science. Science. Okay. So, what medical, scientific, technological advancement would you like to see nanobots within your lifetime? What in the fuck's a nanobot? Yeah, what, what is Everyone's micro- been saying that for like 15 yeah, I don't years. Know, just like little, little guys that go, in robots, the, yeah. go in the body. Little, and do thing. little microbes. Microprobes. Like that episode of Fairly Odd Parents where he gets really small and he's traveling inside <laughs> of Vicky. Or like the magic Vicky, school Vicky. bus. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. It was classic. Oh, when they went microbe? Deep cut. Microprobe. Probe. <laughs> Nick, what do you want? What's your technological um, advancements? One of the ones that I would want would be, uh, have you ever seen the show Futurama? Yes. No. There's an episode where <laughs> the main character ingested um, this like diner food, and he got these weird worms that got inside of him. Yeah. So it's kind of along the lines yeah, of nanobots. It's, it's like the same thing, right? Yeah, it's the same idea. And, and, and they like, clean out your system. Exactly. Like We have methods of cleaning out like cholesterol out of our veins and arteries, something like that, or and like you know maybe readjusting uh, neurons, making our brains be as per- efficient as it possibly could. Exactly, yeah. Um, so basically like nanobots that can help <laughs> maintain our bodies at a higher efficiency than we can on our own. So you want little robots living in you? More or less. No. I want a robot in me. <laughs> that I never want to <laughs> <laughs> I never want to feel like I'm not in control. Like if I have little things crawling around inside <laughs> me, like the work I start there. to question whether or not you get the heebie jeebies. You won't be man any longer. You'll be part robot. See, yeah. my brain and I'm not just saying it cuz we bolted out on laughter. In a previous episode, but I want to go into space, so I want to see mass relays. <laughs> wow! Or mass Effect fans, or I just want us to go to Mars. I mean, that's going to happen, and probably happen in probably in our lifetime. lifetime. But Definitely. I want to discover life. It's because it's yeah. out there. Yeah. Hundred. Yeah. I can't fucking what? stand. Hundred percent. There's life out there. When a motherfucker <laughs> yeah, comes 100. in. There's a hundred things out there. <laughs> I know. The well, hundred I'm... miles of stuff out there. <laughs> There's got to be. There's uh, simply no you're... fucking way there isn't. So, or we're just in a simulation. The Matrix. Thus possible. Si- no, well, we have no idea how to tell otherwise. All right, but like, what about medical the, for you? The, I tr- I truly <clears throat> like. It sounds awful. I don't. I believe we have the cure for cancer, and that they're fucking holding it. It does to me. Yeah, how do we actually do studying that, yeah. THC? Yeah, uh-huh. the, like that legit, like done. yeah, the fucking the cure for cancer. How do they not have it yet? I don't understand because yeah. unfortunately, it's such a money. It's it's a morbid thought, but yes, yeah. exactly. There's so much money in it, and it's one of the only thing, one of the few th- remaining things keeping our population somewhat checked. That, and well, that's and that's what I was gonna say next is that's the tough part. It's like you want a medical advancement, but we're already overpopulated. So it's like, where does it start and stop? Yeah. I mean, you're the science person out of Again, all of us. You you're the, sci- Nick, Nick the, the science scientist. Person, but I'm, <laughs> I have biochemistry training. That's it. Yeah, I heard the word bio, so you're the scientist. <laughs> um, oh, what the fuck? I just lost my More train of, of thought. Than a word. Population. Medical advancements. Yeah. Lost it. I don't know what you're gonna ask me. <laughs> completely blacked out. Medic- so. Medical is easy for me. I know cancer is like a big deal and stuff. But Absolutely. how about like I personally dealt with uh uh one of my great uncles dealt with alzheimer's mm-hmm. yeah and that that fucking disease is the absolute worst yeah tears the person apart it's literally tears you families just, and you just watch someone just literally deteriorate, deteriorate yeah, and not nothing. they're not themselves no, anymore. it's ridiculous and like that's something that 100 percent that and like uh 
type one diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. Where so people don't have to wake up and fucking prick themselves every day to find out what the fuck their blood sugar is yeah. and whatnot. Absolutely. That. Uh, yeah, I mean, those two things for yeah. me, obviously, outside of... I mean, simple stuff. It's like a weird thing, but I mean, I have hypothyroidism. So now, because doctors told me it was harder to maintain at hyper, which my thyroid still produced stuff, but it was too high and I could have had a heart attack. Ninth grade, um, but blood pressure through the roof and shit. Now they've made me dependent on a pill every day for the rest of my life. What the fuck is that? Like, if they could have just fixed my thyroid quote unquote i wouldn't have to take a pill every day and then mm-hmm. if i don't take my pill i lose my hair and i don't know what else are the other side effects but you lose your hair that's one of that's that, that my dad used to say it all the time because my, they could never get my levels right He's like are you taking your pill you're gonna lose your hair i was like oh oh i've God. always taken my pill just i'm on like an unknownly high dosage of it but that'd be nice to not have to take pills anymore yeah. what i was gonna say what i lost my train of thought is i know they're all concerned with like people living too long but is it even like possible for us to live like 120? Do you have any idea, Nicholas? I'm afraid to you. At this moment, the I think there's one person that they're definitely that's been yeah. No, but I mean like they're like they're worried about like if they can keep us healthy for that long. But it's like our bones over time. There's is there unless there's a medical breakthrough. Well, but it's, over the course of human history, people have been living on average longer and longer. Yeah, it's just and that the is fact that to, the average like the average age right now I think is like. Almost like early 80s, right? Yeah. I don't know the I'm exact Google number. Like yeah, I don't know the exact I'm gonna number. I'm going to Google it real quick. I'm but just saying, like, our bodies are only built to last so long. Like, yeah. as they we're constructed. Yeah, but, the, but the thing is, it's just like, just because now that that's the average age, it's just. Like, it could go higher like, or lower in the future. having more kids and shit. So, mm-hmm. like. We're, we're constantly adapting to new environments, and, and our genetics will always be changing over time as a result of that. So, it could be positive, wow. it could be negative. Yeah, U.S. expectancy in 2011 was 78.7 years. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. But the scary thing is, I'm talking about this, like, we have no idea how that would work. Ten years ago, we had no idea how the fuck we'd have a supercomputer in our pockets at all times. Yeah. Like, yeah. that we couldn't fathom. That was literally the future. And yeah. I think I was, like, one of the first ones to have my cell phone, and it was, like, a uh, Virgin Mobile <laughs> thing. But that was, like, the fucking Wolf future. Yeah. <laughs> and what... I mean, the funny thing you see on like fucking uh, BuzzFeed and shit all the time where it was like, oh, if you hit that intermittent button on your phone and like it was taking 45 minutes, you had to quickly cancel it out as fast as you can because you know, your parents bills to fucking skyrocket for like one second of internet on your flip phone. It was like, oh, and literally, what did I just do? I took five seconds and found out the life expectancy age in America. Yep. 10, 15 years ago, that was unimaginable. Unimaginable. So 15 years from now, what is unimaginable? That's going to be imaginable. Amen. There's stuff there's stuff that we could talk about today that, you know, we have these ideas of, oh, this would be the coolest thing to see. And in 30 years, there could literally be something way cool that we couldn't even fathom existing. You know, think of all the, like you look at the movie Back to the Future. Look at all the stuff that they thought the future was going to have. Yeah. You know, and there's stuff that wasn't even pictured in that movie that couldn't even have been fathomed. So I'm I, excited. That's like my biggest fear of death, literally, is like not seeing... Like dying cool early, stuff. not seeing what the fuck's gonna happen next. Nah. Well, how about that shit? Like the, uh, I forget what I was watching, but it was basically like the fact of like storing like basically your consciousness in a hard drive, like basically oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. all your me- like. I don't know. There's a story. There's yeah. a book. Someone wrote a book. Uh, I forget who it was. But yeah, I mean that would be pretty crazy. Well, 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 I was just listening to a podcast, and the guy was talking with a roboticist, and. uh they were talking about Ro- basically a robotic, a bro- roboticist. A roboticist? <laughs> roboticist. I think it's roboticist. Robotist. Robotist. I don't know any sort. <laughs> I'm not sure of physical term for that. So, but basically, the, the biggest thing now they're trying to figure out is like making data, like turning our mind into like like quantifiable data. If you like can translate to ones and zeros, yeah, yeah like yeah. what you were thinking of, like yep. binary. And if they can make like memories and stuff, data. That's when it gets scary because then they could put that into shit. Yeah, but without that, who the fuck knows? Could happen. Could very well happen. Mike, what did you want? Uh, I once had a boner lasting more than nine <laughs> oh hours, gosh. so maybe fix that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, nanobots. 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 That's your go-to <laughs> for technology. Nanobots. It's amazing. It's amazing what we already have. You know, we're, we're progressing along towards more and more. Uh, and, and cooler and cooler advancements. 
So yeah. I heard something really trippy once. It actually like threw me for a loop. They were saying like what if what if oxygen is like truly a like a sort of a poisonous thing? And it just now we're no, we're gonna cut. Vincent, fuck off! Recording, asshole. That was so distracting. (laughs) I thought he was gonna stop. I like it completely broke me, and I turned to you. We'll just fucking put a rough cut in there. I think we were basically done too. We're pretty much done. That's why I was hoping. Yeah, I was hoping we were gonna finish. Like I stopped talking. I was like, yeah, that's it. Well, I didn't want. I want. I didn't want it to feel forced. Yeah. Because I don't know if you guys had anything else to say. I'm pretty much good, more or less. Oh, I we guess just had an I guess earthquake. I what guess, happened? We're back. <laughs> I guess my uh, my entertainment perspective, uh, technological advancement. I'd love to see. I would literally be able to like put on a helmet. Like right now, we're approaching cool areas with VR, and you know, in the next 10, 15 years, we'll have like machines that we can like run on with the VR helmets and stuff like that. Maybe even sooner. But I can't wait till we can literally just plug our, our heads in to a virtual game and we're totally in, in, immersed in the game. You know, like we're literally in Call of Duty. And I'm just like... I Honestly, I don't know if I would want that. That's I fucking terrifying. I would totally <laughs> want that. Absolutely. What's the, what's the movie with Bruce Willis where it's like... It's like everybody plays this game, but it's not, it's not even considered a game. It's just like a virtual world. But then like oh, eventually shit. people like their bodies are just deteriorating because they just live their entire life in yeah, the virtual yeah. world. I, I saw that movie, yeah. I can't remember it. And the leading you know girl is like this that. giant fucking man. Yeah. Yeah. But mm-hmm. like his white uh, I don't know. It's weird. Well, that's the good thing that you said is VR is definitely the future. Hundred and ten percent. Oh yeah. I can't wait to see what the fuck the, they the, do with it. The more immersive the experience, the more people are gonna like crazy. Well, all they need to do now, it's so crazy, just set up a fucking camera. The front row of a concert, and then you fucking put your helmet on. You pay fifty bucks, and you're fucking at the concert. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, that no. I don't see. I don't want that because you, yeah, you don't want that. But people would yeah, want that. Yeah, but that's that. literally the you're future. Right. No, you're right. People would want that and pay for that. So what if your favorite band's playing once? Yeah, but who's in then, Australia and you can't go? Yeah, but then like who? See, that's weird. Like if people could do that, why would they even go? That's the scary part. But that's what we're getting to. Yeah, but you. I don't know. Like, people would pay not, for but it. That's what I'm saying. It's not the same. Like you don't feel the fucking bass in your body and shit, and like you're not surrounded by people. Like I'm not defending it. I'm just that is that yeah. is. There's a hundred percent where we're going. There will be a market for that. I don't know why. I think I'm sure people oh, like, yeah. look at football. Football is so much better to watch on TV. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I mean, even well, even now at concerts they have these. You like put down a deposit and they give you like these fucking headphones. They're like extremely expensive headphones. Okay. Like, they're nice as hell, like perfect sound quality. And it hooks up straight to the band's Their equipment. PA. Oh wow. So you can hear the music like crisp as hell as like if they were like basically playing in a studio. Wow. That's very cool. Yeah. I don't know. That's just I, I mean, know. that's pretty cool though. See like yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of like unnecessary things that are coming out that i don't fully understand well because i feel like we're at a point with some stuff where we just like they're just pushing shit out because they know people will buy it yeah and they're just like hey look at this cool thing and it's just like why do you even yeah like one of the one of the useless like most it's it's not entirely useless but it's unnecessary is the i actually have it the the amazon alexa thing (laughs) the echo like that thing does everything that I could physically do on my own, but I have to scream out at the top of my lungs, "Alexa, <laughs> play this song!" <laughs> hey, Alexa, and she does it. But it's like it's just entertaining. And then you have there's versions of that that could like hook up to your home, and you could have it control the lights and mm-hmm. control like get up, get up, and flip the switch. Why do you need to yell it's out to very... some piece of technology? Be- because they're trying to market like the smart products are almost out. They've marketed to our watches. Mm-hmm. To our Whoa. phones, to our tablets, all that. Now the, they're trying to market our voice because that's the best thing if it works, right? Because you don't have to do anything; you can just lay there yeah. and have it do everything for yeah. you. Or like Unless maybe you're, you're mute. Yeah. Or maybe oh. you're cooking and you want to keep grabbing your phone so you can hands free. Well, music. that's what I was mostly talking about. Is just phones. Like they can't really like they can't do anything anymore. So they just come out with yeah. stupid ass shit like the the new Galaxy with the curved edge. Like why that, that has no purpose so if you're looking at it on a desk sideways you can and see like, what time it yeah, is like people try to like show me like and it's just like i want to just ask them like 
you definitely don't use that. Yeah. And if you do, you definitely just force yourself to use it. Because <laughs> yeah. you have it. Yeah. yeah. That's why phones are at the point where they can't. If they're any like skinnier at this point, they're going to just break and <laughs> fall out of your hand like all the time. I don't, I don't understand why people are... Now they're, it's almost like they were trying to make them as small as they could, and now they're coming out with these big oh, ones it's again. Freaking yeah. gigantic it's cartoon phones joke. that are the size yeah. of my thigh. Yeah, they can't like, fit in it? any kind of pocket. I yeah. had a friend at school with like the Galaxy Note Tab yeah. 5 or whatever the fuck it was. And it was like, I would just call her when we were hanging out, so it would just like fill up the side of her it's head, and she's trying to talk on, on it. Yeah, head. That's what that is. It's fucked up, man. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Casualty. Calamity at Four Play Studios. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, like you, you know, we have no idea what might come out that everyone will have in 15 years. Like, think yeah. about it. No one had a cell phone. Yeah. And now everyone you know has a cell phone. Laptop. Everyone has a laptop. It is scary. Personal computers didn't but exist. But we're, we're at that point now where it's like, it was, I mean, I guess you never know because it's so know. crazy exactly. different. But what could they have next? I'm, I'm excited to find out. And hopefully we live yeah. to find out. Prototype Google glass that has been going around for 1500 years <laughs> those are nuts though yeah google but, vrc but like i almost feel like we're reaching the peak well i think like with the tv and stuff they're gonna keep coming out with all these how much clearer do you want your tv to be before it's but piercing it's, your eyeballs it's <laughs> no you know what the new one was at ces this year the consumer electronics show for those who don't know is literally it's it's like sticky paper. It's like LG has a TV where you just like stick it onto the wall and it's like bending. That's so cool. It's fucking That's awesome. actually oh, really that's cool. One, that's actually one thing that I saw like that could be new with phones. It's like this guy literally had like a chip hooked up to like a transparent piece. It just looked like that like stuff you would put on a projector like that translucent like yeah. paper. Yeah. And it was literally a phone screen. He was just bending it. <laughs> like that <laughs> yeah well i mean the other thing they're gonna start marketing to is literally our skin where you see those weird videos where like the phone is in your hand yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, we're getting there we will which get is there. scary let us know what you want <laughs> as your major technological medical logical futuristic Laser. sky Laser. i almost made it seem, improvement i made it seem like Shit. i was against all this stuff but like you love it <laughs> i'm very excited for it it's <laughs> yeah just, we're all, i feel like it's so it's so well, oh, we're dehumanizing <laughs> and getting closer to computers. Yeah. If you like what we do, share this video. We will be momentarily back with the Would You Rather question for the week. Thank you guys for watching or listening. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash foreplay video. If you like what we're doing, make sure to smash that like button. Be sure to share all our videos with your friends so we can uh, continue to grow. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.